your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Happy Thursday, everybody. Meteorologist Austin Onik helping my wife Melissa out at a friend's house as she engages in what is called a LuLaRoe sale. If you've ever been involved in something like this, then you know that it takes a lot of organization. And I'm here making certain that this chair doesn't float away, so doing my best to help out there. Hot day out across the Mid-South, and once again, another steamy one out there with high temperatures back into the mid to upper 90s. Temperatures out there are kind of starting to get a little bit more stagnant atmosphere as you take a look out around the area with some pretty good amounts of haze seen at I-40 and Witten Road around the area of our Champion Windows cam looking back toward the intersection and showing rush hour traffic in full swing. Back toward Wooddale High School in Memphis, a little bit of haze out there, plenty of sunshine as the school day draws to a close. Memphis International Airport, a few thunderstorms brewing out on the horizon, not many of them, but some out across parts of the area. And as we go into the rest of the forecast tonight, hopefully a nice night in downtown, but still pretty doggone warm out across the Mid-South. This view from our Weatherbug Cotton Exchange camera overlooking the Mississippi, the south end of Mud Island, out into eastern Arkansas, and a small part of downtown Memphis seen at the bottom right portion of your screen. If you'd like to see any more of these cameras, all you have to do is go to our Weatherbug section or also go to wreg.com slash webcams for all the listings of the cameras that you see on here that we feature on News Channel 3 on a daily basis. If you'd like to see more about the temperatures, where you are, there are a lot of WeatherNet stations out there, 90 degrees as of the time we record this at the News Channel 3 studios in downtown Memphis as News Channel 3 at 5 is on the air for tonight. If you'd like to see some more of these temperatures around the area, definitely not feeling like September, very much on the hot side with numbers back into the mid to upper 80s to lower 90s, still pretty steamy out there, so September and the last few days of summer are not going to go away without a fight anytime soon. Satellite picture visible showing the cloud cover across the area here and there from pop-up showers and thunderstorms. Nothing severe out there. Matter of fact, the rainfall is pretty sparse, just not seeing a lot of activity at this time. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's going to be staying that way into the weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little while. For tonight, low temperatures once again very much on the steamy side back into the mid-70s at best. That's as cool as it gets for much of the Mid-South and unfortunately another hot day coming up tomorrow as we look for highs back in the lower to mid-90s across much of the area. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, the green portion of your screen shows again the possibility of stray showers and thunderstorms in and around the Mid-South about the time we kick off for Friday night football. That's where we're going to see again the potential for more activity into northwestern areas of Mississippi, eastern Arkansas, and across much of southwest Tennessee. So you may want to go ahead and plan on an umbrella just to be on the safe side if you're heading out the door to any Friday night football games tomorrow night. Want to volunteer to help out where it comes to spotting for severe weather. The National Weather Service needs and uses your eyes, ears, and brains to help people stay safe. It's called Skywarn. You can volunteer. I've seen kids as young as eight years old volunteering for things like this. It's a good way to place some control on what seems to be an uncontrollable situation for kids. There are plenty of meetings coming up across the next several weeks. These are the first 11 listed across the area. Points of contact on the right, dates, times, and everything else on the left. So if you'd like to know more about that, head to wreg.com slash weather for the link or go to the National Weather Service in Memphis for more information about that. Go to weather.gov, click on the Mid-South, and then click on Skywarn in the menu for more information there. Memphis International Airport could use your help. Next Monday, they're going to be holding a training exercise, a mock disaster drill, and they need walking wounded or worse, to practice for triage. If you'd like to volunteer for this, you have to be 18 years old. You need to call ahead and reserve your spot. So if you'd like to help the Memphis International Airport authorities stay on top of disasters and get ready, get practiced for stuff like this, you have to get do it now to make certain we're ready to go when the real thing happens. Contact the Memphis International Airport via Twitter, at Fly Memphis, or give them a call on the information on the screen. Give the press office a call, and they'll be able to tell you more about where and when you can volunteer for this good opportunity to do it. I did it for my emergency preparedness merit badge back in Boy Scouts, so a good opportunity to help your community stay ready for what could be a bad situation in advance and make 
make certain that things don't go wrong when the worst does occur. Tonight, going to be a pretty warm one across the Mid-South. Again, looking for some fairly warm conditions out there and more chances of showers and thunderstorms into Friday. We'll have another update on your forecast coming up, plus a brand new look to weather over time coming up in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. Our exclusive video, video weather blog is getting a very nice video makeover. We'll talk about that coming up a little bit later on. Live and direct from the latest Luro sale at Bethany Chu's Place, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik on location for the latest edition of your quick weather update. Stay tuned for more coming up with Tim and Jim later on tonight on News Channel 3.